Hey fit fam, Coach Raph from Team Flex. Today we're gonna look at NY Pro figure. Event just went down and we are going to look at our athletes, talk about the placings, talk about how they landed the way they did, the why, and you know, kind of just look at the criteria overall and what this means for you as a figure competitor out there trying to do your best on stage. And remember, everything we talk about on this channel is relevant for all levels. So it doesn't matter if you've never competed before, you're trying to get a pro card, you already are a pro. We talk about the things you need to know to do your your best on stage so if you're new here hang out with me please subscribe and uh, let's get into it let's talk figure okay so here's our top four and this is a real call out shot this is exactly how it went down on stage judges pulled this to the stage as their first call out and we're gonna look at it here and go over it same way they did okay so here's our winner Maria here's our second place Thais and then over here we got Ashley and we got in fourth Kaylee okay so we're gonna talk about these four athletes athletes and just go over some similarities some differences and why the placings landed the way that they did so right away I'll tell you very close call out here probably right very very close between the points of these athletes to really pull this together um, and figure for those of you that are new here you know it's all about this V tapered look all these athletes are going to exemplify this width of the upper body that comes from the shoulders and the lats tapering into the narrow effect of the waist makes a huge V tapered look and you'll see all the athletes on this stage represent this very nicely very very well okay so if you're figure first thing you want to know build your best V taper and that comes from a combination of building the delts the lats the midsection getting the back you know as wide as you can but also as deep as you can and lower body in a figure really is all about symmetry you want that to be symmetrical to the rest of the body at that point uh, where we showcase that okay so looking at this lineup here very close between our first two however I think there are some big differences right so looking at Maria uh, she's got a lot bigger shoulders than thighs does in this shot right so thighs it's still pulling all those shoulders together all these athletes are but I think Maria's shoulders really just kind of give her more of that pop factor something you look at and you say whoa all right those are some bolder shoulders right there that's a big you know shoulder development and I think that really does enhance her overall taper uh, thighs does pull in her midsection really nicely looks much much tighter in a lot of ways but again it's not a diet competition you guys it's all about getting the right level of conditioning and the right level of shape and I think that Maria really pulls together those shoulders more as well as more width in her lats than thighs does so again not to say she's off at all she's on point but I think Maria does showcase a little bit more size a little bit more overall development there and that again screams to us you know Figures about muscle, like we didn't know. It's a very muscular uh, women's division, and it has a lot of muscle overall. Okay, lower body for her matches very nicely for Maria here. You know, good quad sweep. Uh, the quads are at perfect condition, really tight looking, really, you know, separated, but not striated, not grainy, not overdone. The conditioning is on point. So more muscle, more conditioning. And, you know, thighs right there. It's really hard to, in this front shot to even say you could go either way with this, right? And uh, it's it's really close in this front shot we'll see when we get to the back though because oftentimes that's where things get changed up now looking out the call out is just a little bit more Ashley over here and uh, Kaylee over here I think they just need more muscle right Kaylee looks like she's a little bit uh, imbalanced a little bit maybe bottom heavy compared to the upper body at this point so I think just building a little bit more to balance that out would be great for her uh, and same thing kind of for Ashley right just refining her look a little bit more maybe pull in the midsection just a bit to really pull out that taper build the lats a bit more so again just focusing on bringing in that super crazy v tapered looking figure it's going to be advantageous to you okay now looking at the back here okay we are looking at uh, again Maria and thighs as our top two here and really uh, again it's so, so you could go either way with this lineup you could go kind of either way however this is again where I said it comes to the shot and it might be a clear example and I think this is what we get right so looking at thighs for specific uh, she's got good shoulder development, not as developed though as Maria. Maria's got a lot more, and she's getting a lot more of that rear delt effect as well. So we kind of get the full overall roundness to that shoulder, which is really key and critical in figure. You really want to make sure that you have that kind of fully rounded boulder effect. Thighs got it too. It's just not coming together the same. Uh, and also thighs lats, they get a little bit lost here to me, right? Like it looks like her lats kind of quickly disappear, whereas Maria's got a lot more of that width, and she's also got a lot of depth. Both these athletes clearly got 
add a lot of depth to their lats. Very, very developed, very built, very good look there. Um, but where, you know, I think the biggest difference becomes is the lower body. So Maria's lower body is still very built. It's right where it needs to be. Quad sweep, everything's good. Glutes are good. Hamstrings good. Uh, it's matching her upper body very well, which you got to have in this division. You want that symmetry. And I think the thighs here, she looks a little bit bottom heavy. You know, when you turn to the back and figure, you want your V taper, your lats and everything to scream at the judges and the audience and say, this is, this is where we're at. This is what it is. This I'm figure. And, you know, thighs here, I'm getting a little bit more of the lower body effect, right? Like it seems like it's a little bit too bottom heavy in the lower body and it distracts from that tapered look. So I think, again, it comes down to that and that's probably where it is for her, really just kind of balancing out that look a little bit more, maybe toning down the lower body in that sense. Um, and then looking at the call out here, same feedback that I said for the front, same would be for the back, I would think, you know, kind of rebalancing Kaylee's look just a little bit more, uh, adding a little bit more size there, kind of bringing down in the sense the quads at that point um, or you know bringing the upper body a little bit more to match and same for uh, Ashley you know as well just bringing in a little bit more of that size factor she's almost got a lower body dominance look to her just like thighs does versus the upper body right so these are the things that make a big difference in figure figure is up down left right symmetrical you really want to tie that all together have that V taper but make sure it's in symmetry it's in perfect proportion and I mean when I'm saying up and down I mean Every single muscle group up, down, and left, and right got a match. And the person that does that the best while showcasing the best V taper is going to be the winner, right? So, uh, really great lineup, really great example of the criteria to all these ladies. That's just me talking about what I think could have affected some placings. However, you know, this is still a very good example of criteria. All of them are there and they're doing very well at a pro event, a very big pro event. So, awesome job to these competitors. And I want to know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Who do you think? should have won in this lineup do you like thighs better for the win do you like maria do you think ashley or kaylee should have won comment it and let me know and uh we got more videos coming so make sure you're hanging out subscribe give me that thumbs up if you like what we doing here helps me a lot thanks for watching coach rye is out